Hello and welcome back to Dumb Thumbs FPV. So today is, just like the title says, Happy Model Larva X. Guys, I know that this thing's been reviewed to death. It's about two months late. Thank you very little, Banggood. Um, this is a free one that was sent to me by Banggood for review, and there is an affiliated link down below. I know some of you don't like affiliated links. I get it. It does support my channel, though. But if you don't like the affiliated links, you're like, no, nah, I don't like this guy. I'm not going to support him. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, just go straight to Banggood and pick it up that way. Whatever. I, you know. Whatever. So let's talk about this. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now. The video today, I have to apologize. I am a little nervous today because I just received this by Fat Shark in the mail. What does this say? HDO2. Ooh. Man, I tell you what. I got this thing. I was not expecting it. It just showed up at my door here not even about a half an hour ago. Wow. I was taken back by that. I Thank you, Fat Shark. Amazing. It's like it's like Christmas. Anyway, so let's get back to this little guy. I know this has been reviewed to death, and I really do apologize, guys. I did get it last week, but it was 13 degrees outside and snow. And I'm not going to fly this in the snow because there's no conformal coating on the main boards or on any of the boards on this thing. So it would just fry. So let's talk about the techs and specs. This is the final version. I know Nick Burns and the other guys, they had their pre-production version, but this is the actual final version that you're going to get. And I'll be honest with you, if you're new to this hobby, guys, it is amazing what you're getting nowadays. Absolutely, absolutely amazing what you're getting today, around $100. Three years ago, you got to be kidding. These things didn't even exist. And if they did, they would be three, probably around $300. I mean, it is amazing. So this here is the Crazy B4 um, F4 flight controller board, this is the pro version, um, whatever that means. The 10 amp 4 in 1 ESCs, the Runcam 2 Nano, the Happy Model Diamond VTX with onboard recording. Okay, so that really shocked me. So you have, um, your, here's your little SD slot right here. So you can record your video without the static of the VTX. Huh, it's pretty cool. It is switchable up to 200 milliwatts too. I like that. Um, it has 1103 7000 KV motor, so it is 2S, 3S. It has the Emacs Avon 2.5 props. However, what is this? Do they look like Avon 2.5 props? No, they're not. So, I mean, thank you for including extra props, guys, and an extra canopy. Extra canopy was really nice, and the tools and stuff. But, I mean, really, I think we would have paid an extra couple $2 to have the same exact props. So, if I bust one of these props, which is going to be hard to do because this thing doesn't weigh anything, but still, I have to change out all four props. Okay. It is 100 millimeters motor post to motor post. Yes, I am stealing that from Nick Burns. I love Nick Burns. Please check out his channel. Um, the bottom frame is three millimeters thick and it doesn't twist very well. There's not a lot of deflection, so I like that. But let's talk about, I already talked about the props, so let's talk about some other things I'm kind of raising an eyebrow about, okay? Uh, the biggest glaring one right here, let me zoom this in. Hopefully you're on a 4K television. That's really zoomed in. Um, why did they leave... Why didn't they put an extra molding here so it mounts on all four points? It mounts on three different three different points here, but why not the fourth one right here? I don't I don't quite understand that. And the reason I say that is because you have a VTX here and you have the canopy and the camera. Um I don't know, can you see that big huge gap there? I mean, what happens if I hit a tree? I mean, what is that? So I, I don't quite understand that as a design standpoint. I don't, I don't really understand. I don't know if it's just because I, I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I also don't like the I don't like anything that has RX antennas that can get down in the props here. Boom, there you go. Go upside down and bye bye. And of course, this is the radiated end here. So if you chop that, good luck. So I'm going to modify that with a zip tie and some shrink tube, of course. Um, this is the final version, so you're not using the RX that's on typically on the main board. This here, I'm hoping, is it looks like it is, but I, it better be. Otherwise, it's going to be a real short review. I think this is the um, FR Sky XM Plus receiver. It is put on a double-sided sticky tape, which I appreciate that. And they did have a zip tie here, but I simply went to move the zip tie because it looked like it was going to interfere with this back prop, and it just fell off. So i got to redo that. And then look at the way that they put the antennas here. I, I don't really quite understand this. Um... This is the this is the end that radiates or it picks up the, the transmission. If this gets cut, bye bye reception. So this one routes underneath of the receiver here and it sticks out through here. Yeah, and it can you know if you land in grass, bye. Uh, this one here sticks straight out as you can see, bye bye. 
So I got to reroute those. It does have a battery pad down here, which I appreciate. The USB is easily accessible because it technically it is a toothpick. It is using a whoop style board that is, you know, the motors plug in and all that. Um, the battery strap is great. It has plenty of Velcro on here. However, where's the capacitor? I don't quite understand that part of it. It's why they don't feel that they need of having a capacitor. So when you plug this into a 3X, hopefully it doesn't cause too much of a surge there and, and burn stuff out. I don't know. We'll find out. So I'm going to reroute these antennas through the canopy here, kind of like I did on the Tyro here. This is the proper way stuff should be done. The, the, the receiver antennas are supposed to be at a 90 degree angle, guys, for maximum um, reception. So on that. So, yeah. Um, so there's just a couple things on there right away. I'm just like, huh? I, I don't really understand. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to show you how I did the final way. And then we're going to take it out and fly it. And hopefully it flies real good. Like I said, there's no conformal coating. There is snow outside. There is moisture. So hopefully I don't fry it. And I'm really hoping that this does look like the XM Plus. I really hope it is so I can bind it. To okay, guys. So we're here with the flight video. Now, this is the um, this is the DVR that's built in on the um, craft itself. So I, I think they did a really good job. However, one thing I noticed, it stretches out to 16 by 9. I don't know why. It's supposed to be 4 by 3. I tried to do it in my uh, software here, but it just won't let me. So, anyway, this is how it records on the craft here. And that's why you're not seeing any breakup lines or anything like that. Not that there really was any, because it is 200 milliwatts. And it is a decent uh, VTX, so it's very clean. Um, one thing I'll say about this thing is it it really does fly well i mean it's very very quiet uh that that's one thing i was surprised how quiet it was it's as quiet as a as a whoop and very docile i mean this is the stock tune i didn't tune anything i just set my rates um plenty of power this is on 2s here it's very efficient um really honestly i mean this thing really flies just where you want to point it so it flies very nice now, there is a 5-mile-an-hour wind. That's why I missed that power loop right there. Um, there's a 5-mile-an-hour wind that's coming from the river there, so it's kind of pushing me off course a little bit. Um, but i got to tell you guys, this thing is really, truly locked in. I, I think a beginner could fly this thing easily. Um, really docile, very quiet. Goes where you want to, where you point it. It's, it's I mean, it's a no-brainer. Honestly, it is. I only got one flight. This is the maiden flight. And I didn't want to get it wet. I didn't want to dip it in the snow or anything. Like I said, there's no conformal coating on the electronics. So if I hit the snow, it's probably pretty much toast. Um, but this is the only flight that I got in. And the reason why was because you'll see here in a few minutes, there's a homeless guy that comes through this park, and this guy is actually taking stuff from me and try to run off, and I know it's the same exact dude. The last time he did this, I never showed the video because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble, but the last time he did this, um, I chased him down with a 5-inch quadcopter, literally chased him down with it, scared the living hell out of him. So that's why I cut it short today and just did one flight. Um, the guy's kind of, I don't know what his deal is. Um, I had a situation where I came out to this park, uh, this last summer, I think it was during the Emacs, uh, the Emacs freestyle review and he was actually bathing in that pond right there. So he was actually bathing in that in the middle of the day, bare ass naked. So yeah, anyway, as soon as he started coming around, I'm like, you know what? And there he is right there. You can kind of see him off the right hand side in the corner. And I'm like, okay, is this the same guy? You got to be kidding me. So I try to put on the best show I can without destroying the craft and getting the wet. Yeah, that's the guy. Same outfit. I don't. I think he only has one change of clothing. And as you can see right here, he's eyeballing me. I'm not a. I'm not a small guy either. I mean, I can easily take him on, but it's not really the point. The point is, I'm blind because I have goggles on. So yeah. Anyway, that's the flight video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and if you did, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you like the product, click on the link down below. It does help my channel. It really is something I would recommend, seriously.